Hey, welcome back to Info Gamer. For this video, I have another Discord chat that I had with one of our subscribers who goes by the name Dr. Dislupo or Elitrax. And they had a question about first person cameras in a multiplayer game. And they were having a problem where their local client had the camera view of the last player instantiated into the scene, which wasn't always the local player. Now I was able to help Elitrix troubleshoot this problem and we got it so that the correct first person camera was active in the scene. And so the following is the conversation that I was able to have with Elitrix and the process that we went through in order to fix their problem. Now one heads up before you watch it, Elitrix at the start of our conversation informed me that there were people sleeping at their house. And so Elitrix was communicating to me through text while I was talking through my microphone. And so the phone call might seem a little one-sided and that's the reason why. Now let's get to it. Um, okay, so can you like play through your game real quick so I can see what's going on? Nice, looks good. So you have this client selected and you're control you're trying to control this client but it's controlling the other player is that the problem <laughs> i assume that's a yes the nod okay um that is that is weird oh you know what i know what it is you have multiple cameras in your uh in your game and both clients are viewing through the the newest camera. It's actually really simple, really easy to fix. Um, okay, yeah, let's go to like your player controller script. Okay, and then let's add a variable for your camera, unless you already have one, of course. Okay, and then in your start function, are you oh yeah you could just use that one do you initialize your photon view yeah right there okay um so let's do an if statement here and do if my photon view dot is mine equals false and then inside this do destroy and then the camera variable and yeah just like that um, another way that you could do is you could deactivate the camera like if you don't want to destroy the camera you could do M camera maybe just do a new line and you can comment that one out like that yeah, so you won't be able to like see your other the other player's camera if you destroy the other player's camera. Um, but so which, like, if you want to see the, your, say you're dead and you want to see your teammate's camera, like your teammate's first person view, then you might not want to destroy it, but uh, set it to be not active. Yeah. So let's just like comment that line out because um, I'll leave it up to you what how you want to do it. But yeah, do mcamera.gamer. Um, yeah, that'd do it. So let's save it and try it out. Is it still... Wow, it's still doing it. Um, so real quick, let's go to your editor. So now let's go to your editor. Don't close them. Let, let's just, uh, look at your editor and then expand your hierarchy. Um, can you select your, yeah, player. Clone. So which one is the object that the editor owns? That one. And the camera for that one is disabled. That's weird. That's really weird because 
Can you re-enable that camera? See, that's how it's supposed to be, right? And that one's still not working because you didn't re-enable the camera for that one, but the editor is now working with that camera enabled. It's weird that go to your player controller on in the editor, the object that has the player controller, and then the player controller script. Like, let's see the script that we were editing. Is that it? Okay, so do you have the camera variable in there? Is, or is it not serialized? Yeah, let's serialize it real quick so that we can debug it. And you'll need to build it again. Is that variable none? Can you manually set that variable by dragging in your camera game object? Yep. And then wherever you initialize it in your script, we'll probably need to comment out. Um, one helpful tip, if you select your prefab in the hierarchy, and then up at the top of your inspector on the, on the right hand side where it says override, you click on that, then you can, there's the apply all. They used to have it just say apply all, but then they moved it. Um, but yeah, so let's go to your script where you're initializing your camera right there. So let's comment that out because we don't need it now that it's already in the inspector. And yep, let's play. Looks like it's working. <laughs> I assume that means you're happy. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so I think what was happening was when you instantiated the new player object, for both players, it was initializing the camera variable to be the new camera game object or whatever. And then it was the code that we added in was just disabling that new variable whether it was the owner or not well like if you were the owner then it wasn't disabling it or something i don't know it was kind of weird um but yeah so manually setting it and then having that code seems to fix the problem all right, so that's the phone call that I was able to have with Elitrix. It was really cool being able to help them with their problem one-on-one. -on -one. And the principle that we talked about in this phone call is actually very important, and it applies to games where you have a camera dedicated to your player, such as a first-person or third-person game. And I'm actually surprised that I haven't yet done a dedicated tutorial on this principle. But you basically want to check to make sure that each player is not the local player, and if they are not the local player, then you want to disable the camera that's attached to their player. And that way, it's only the local player that has an active camera. Now for other games, such as arcade games, like the game my brother and I have been making, there's probably only one camera in your scene, and so you don't need to check to see if that camera belongs to the local player. Now if you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comments below. And finally, make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date on all our latest videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.